Welcome back to The Necromantic Empire. Season 3. I'm your ghost, Alina. Wait for applause. <laughs> we left off with Hogan, Kreeth, Cookie, and Gobletta. Leaving the conference room on the same day, they had their new spell component orientation as they watched themselves walk away. They were given orders to go to muggy salt chunks by a rather rude fancy dressed rat folk. Did blowing up the skiff and the delegates aboard do anything? Did they reset the world completely? What about Leroy? Let's find out. In this episode we catch up with Second Shift, which is comprised of Mogilla Cuddy, Ward Vacker, Onyxia the Do Not Call Me 18. Let's meet the spell components. Hi, I'm McGillicuddy, and I'm in no way uh, a scab because of the uh, strike going down down here. <clears throat> but uh, either way, uh, I'm McGillicuddy. I'm a haunted creature, no, a hunted creature uh, of the sea, uh, in, in no way associated with horny fishmen or monsters from a very dark gray swamp, yeah? Why? Because I have no off. Oh, uh, the hunted part, right. Uh, I had to run from home due to the fact that I ate a bunch of, uh, what, what do they call, uh, oh, I thought they were good berries, but in fact they were, uh, devil's purses of the notorious mob boss Deep Blue Grin. <laughs> uh, but that doesn't matter. I took the job here at Raiders Follies for the money, but ended up as an NPC. Sure hope my check clears. Hi, I'm Vort. Local means justify the ends type. My primary hobbies include theft, loitering, and hit and runs. It's hard to figure out which one I do more of, hitting or running. I'm a Harige Lente monk, but most people just call me Ferret Folk. Previous list makes much more sense now, doesn't it? I'm not, like, a criminal or anything. Don't get me wrong. I just work for the Empire. Oh, that doesn't sound much better. Look, if you need me, I'm going to be asleep in my hammock. Hi, I am uh, Nixia the 18th, and uh, I am a uh, giant snake lady, as uh, some people may call us, a naga, lamia, whatever you want to phrase it that way, and uh, I've come from a big family, uh, just call me Onyx, uh, no, and do not call me 18, uh, and uh, my goal here in the Necromatic Empire is to make a name for myself outside of my family and uh, prove what a uh, competent snake girl can really do out in the world and uh, show them once for all that I am actually very cool. I'm your district manager, John Simon. Thanks for coming back and tuning in to the Necromantic Empire. I'll let the episode troll take it from here. Episode Troll left in in here. Uh, this show is a continuous story that the NPCs are attempting to stray from. So, if you are uh, skipping episodes, uh, uh, there may be some details that are quite confusing. Uh, management uh, uh, recommends you listen to the show in order so things don't get lost or uh, uh, out of context. But if you thrive on chaos, you do you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If if you if you're driving, have your imps set the scry to uh, D and D. Thanks for summoning the show for your entertainment. Disclaimer, <laughs> we are adults and use adult language, which has ironically not matured. We will have and discuss adult situations. Whether this is offensive is all on you. Welcome to the Necromantic Empire. Areola's vacation. You're all waking up and you're going off to your morning uh, meeting. This is your technically second day. You went through your store, your orientation. Uh, you all remember having to track down some small group and brutalize them just enough so that the next coming group group coming in could kill them. You don't remember if you lived or died that day because it's not important. But this is your next morning, and you're going to your to your meeting to meet uh, our supervisor. Your supervisor, EX nine eight eight eight, who's a giant rat. Oh. 
I, I get up uh, out of the bed, do a big stretch. Okay, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So excited, 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 excited. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is every night anyone else awake? <sighs> this is a large uh, dormitory. A uh, single room has probably about 30, 40 people in it. And you're, the three of you are in this room together with the others as they're all mingling around, either going to bed, getting ba- just getting back from their uh, assignments, or, like you, waking up to get ready for your wonderful day at the Necromantic Empire. I get out of bed and it uh, squelches from all the water that I uh, soaked the uh, mattress in, yes. and and then uh, I fill up a, a a giant jug of water um, and uh, sort of carry it around like a like a really big oversized coffee mug. <laughs> Ford's already half out of bed, but mostly just because that's how ferret sleep is just you know like noodled like waist <laughs> up. Is just off the bed, <laughs> just slumped over, um, like a like a wind sock on a on a calm day. So, Not awake. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll probably like slither over to um, to to the to you, the ferret. And it's like, are you are you ready for the big day? Ready for the big day? Ready for the big day? <laughs> no. Great. I can be ready for both of us. Um, should I be ready? I don't know. I've got like a hundred sling bullets, so, you know. You never know what we're going to find. You look him in his vapid eyes and you just see just like an asynchronous slow blink. Uh, <laughs> out. <laughs> just give me, give me a few minutes. Do you, need, do, do you need coffee? I think there's coffee. Some people think coffee. coffee. I don't need coffee. Sure. Yeah. I've also got bed water if you want that. No. Oh, God, no. <laughs> God. Bed water. Plural. Yeah, you should Never heard of that one before. With bed water. It's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'll get more later tonight. Does anyone remember what happened yesterday? I feel hungover. Uh, I think we died. Probably- I think oh. it's probably just the the, uh, the lingering uh, axe you took to the back. Oh, hmm. I felt there was a a disturbance along the spine. Yeah, coffee, please, please. You know I, your options um, at this point are too. I, I attempt to get coffee. How successful am I? <laughs> well, you go you go to get coffee. That means you get in line at at a oh oh spell bounds. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is the line long? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it moves but I'm, quickly. I'm just slithering over there. Uh, bear in mind, my character is half snake, half human. Mm. So. Uh, you're not the oddest thing here. Uh, there's, if you can just to clarify, it's I wasn't here. just a snake with no arms. That's why I was okay. clarifying that. So you're a centaur snake. <laughs> snake tar. <laughs> yeah. Lamia, Naga, whatever you want to use. All right. You're in line for about five minutes. You finally. Pull up, and there's. Uh, how can I help you? Yes. Uh-huh. Well, hi. Welcome, my favorite friend now. needs a black coffee. A black coffee. Okay, one black coffee. Anything else? Oh, uh, that'll do it. Thank you. All right, that'll be uh, eight gold. Seriously? Yeah. Eight gold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Do you have eight gold? I do, but I'm not that good friends with the guy. Oh. Okay. Hey, Next. hey, ferret! Uh, hey, ferret! You got eight gold? <laughs> um. Uh, Closer to the mic. Uh, no, but I can get it. Okay, great. Do that, and there's coffee waiting for you. Uh, <laughs> I-, I leave without grabbing the cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, no money was exchanged, so no coffee's been made. Yeah, he just <laughs> sl- like almost slithers the lo- the rest of his body off the bed. Stands up, head like lolling to the side, like, all right, let's uh, let's go. Where are we going? Orientation? No. You gotta go to morning briefing. Ah, oh, briefings. Yes. All right. How are you gonna know what your assignment is? Wait, does that mean I have to wear clothes? No. <laughs> no. Oh, good. You said briefing, so I was concerned. That's later. Yeah, but they can't. Debrief you unless you're brief. So, it's a 
Let's go. I'll wake up. Don't worry. Right. Uh, do you need me to, like, carry you or anything? No, no. Um, Real quick, can I see if there's any just stray things to steal? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, Investigation? Well, yeah. Oh, boy, that's um, bad. Uh, roll a one. No, I rolled a two, but it equals a zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you don't see anything worth stealing. You're like, why are these people so poor? Uh, this place is filled with the dumbest trash. Okay. <laughs> or just didn't open his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably didn't open your eyes. Yeah, the tracks. <laughs> On the way to the meeting, I'm just reaching into the cup and sort of like rubbing my face with water. So kind of like a gecko, but instead of your tongue, it's your hand just constantly re-moisturizing yourself? Yeah. Okay, that works. <laughs> Alright, you uh, you all ma- manage to uh, squirm, walk, or... Amble? Amble, or to your to the meeting. You get there, uh, you see the giant rat. Uh, hello, hello, everybody. How are you all doing? I see you're recovering from our injuries last night. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I, I feel great. Good, good, good. I'm here. Good, good, good. Uh, you need to go get some coffee, don't you? Yes, okay. Do you have any gold? I don't carry anything around you. I know you well enough. I've, see, I've got your dossier right here. And, uh-huh. uh, yes, uh, right now, uh, it looks like you're negative 342 gold due to all the other things you've been stealing. So you need to steal the right things, give it back to us so that you can get your 50%, and we can get our 50%. Then you'll actually have a positive income as opposed to this uh, rather uh, draining uh, habit of yours. Um, how about this? Mm-hmm, yeah. If I were to tell you where I put half of your shoes. I don't wear shoes. Not I'm more. a giant rat. Yeah. Fuck. How many people even wear shoes in this building? Like, I don't have legs. Oh, let me see. Uh, about 84% do. Yes. Mm, yeah. Yeah, no, I can tell that you. That sounds high. Yeah. <laughs> you should see There's this. There's only style. a few hundred. Like, uh, we, we employ uh, 158,000 people here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but isn't like 80%... Wait. Most of I'm them are like math. human-ish, so they, they like to have things on their feet, and uh, we make a pretty good Ooh. markup when they buy the uh, the Air Forgans. Those are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, too many people tried wearing Crocs, but the Crocs kept biting them too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Yeah. yeah, I grew I grew up in a swamp. Yeah. Why, why would anyone put those near their feet? I don't know, but we made hell of a profit off of that. Uh, yeah. Yep. Well, uh, you have an assignment, but of course, before your assignment, you must hear from your almighty uh, employer, uh, uh, Nigel. So, uh, here's today's uh, morning announcement. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Welcome to another glorious day with the family at the Necromantic Empire for your morning announcements. To whoever keeps putting childish drawings of ursine beasts with huge mandibles in the suggestions box, that is not what a bugbear looks like. And we're working on it. <laughs> Congrats to, insert name here, from insert world here, for your successful total party kill. Here's to more natty 20s in your future. Contact your zone liaison for your prize. Have a great day, or not. The choice is yours. And now to your talent lead. Don't forget to visit Gonbatar's Mercantile. Yeah, as, as you guys did not have a total party kill, because you weren't supposed to, you weren't registered into that. So, uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, the next thing is your, your random encounter today is you're going to be running to a party of five uh, uh, warriors out in the middle of, uh, of Raider's Folly, of course, really close to uh, the, the lake. So, uh, especially... Ooh, lake ambush, lake ambush, lake ambush. Yes, so that's the plan of what you have to do. Uh, do you have any questions about what else you're supposed to be doing today? Hmm? So they're warriors. Uh, I hope so. Just Second warriors? Um, Maybe. Like, I don't have stats on them. Are they all the same class? Or? Uh, they're all the same race. They're all humans. That sounds racist. Um, this place is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so like we can drag them underwater and like and like drain and drown them. That's you're, a waste. You're time. fully free to do whatever you want to these people as long as you uh, kill them all. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, is there any like special special rules of engagement or uh, extra things we need to be on lookout for? Well, they bought a base ticket, so they don't have any extra protections outside of they will come back to life with all of their gear uh, in about twelve hours after the incident if you kill them all. If all of not, their gear. Yes. Even if I tank it. Yes. Oh. You'll get to keep it. 
I don't. No, we, anything you take, you give back to us, and then you get a little bit of the spoils. Uh, like I said, there's a 50-50 if you make anything extra of what we're expecting. Other than that, uh, it just helps cover the pay, food, and everything else, your room and board, uh, everything that you take care of. There are way, other ways to make money. Just okay. read your employer uh, employee manual. Uh, but see, what happens is uh, there's enough magic here that when these people are resurrected, they anything that they still had when they died will be... Um, Added to their inventory. So if they don't have so it if when you they steal die. everything before they die. Uh huh. Okay. Now, uh. now you're thinking. Finally, I've I've had so many groups come through. And nobody's ever gotten the, that actual <laughs> aspect there. So if you steal everything before you kill them, that's like a full reset, and they come back with nothing. And we get to sell everything back to them at uh, three to four times the normal price. The gears are slow, but they move faster than the other group. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I've always been told I'm very intuitive. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, make sure once you once you do gather everything, is you bring it back and drop it into the gelatinous cube. You'll meet him at the door uh, through the secret tunnels. Uh, that'll be pretty simple there. Oh, very exfoliating. Yes. Mm -hmm. I put water at the ferret. <laughs> spell components requesting time off during the week of spell component appreciation time or scats. Must request permission from their zone liaison. Who is writing these? <laughs> yes, uh, uh, spell component appreciation time is coming up. Uh -huh. uh, you'll all be, have to uh, basically get the day off, but you have to go to the mandatory meeting, which includes a show, food, and uh, them talking about how much money they made. Yep. Right, right, right. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Right. Uh -huh. uh, now I've got to get the, the next group in here and out, so uh, uh, all right. there's the door. Cool. Um, right. Um, which uh, door leads to the ambush point? Oh, uh, that'll be on your scry. Uh, just you'll have to check your uh, your imps map on that point. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Yeah, thanks. Anytime. Right, right, right. You're right. appreciated. I'm gonna go. You're getting a hang of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. So my family did stuff like this all the time. So my, my plan is, uh, me and the fish guy, we wait under the water. At the at the lake's edge, and then you, Mr. Ferret, uh -huh. Vord. Just, just call me Vord. It's that's uh, Mr. Ferret is somebody's father. <laughs> Vord, you said. Vord, yeah. Vord. All right, Vord. You lead the warriors to the water's edge, and then we grab them and pull them underwater. If they're wearing heavy armor, this will be extra effective. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, I think I, I can, can do that. If we pick off at least two of them, then we can, then it's even odds, and then we can really have some fun. I mean, I, I'm going to have fun getting them to the water. I, I have an idea. They usually like it when they try to get their stuff back. Yeah, let's. Uh, I'll just right. do the right. thing. Right. I, I pull up my scry and and start slithering uh, yeah. towards the ambush points. Yeah, I'm. I don't have. You know what? I'm going to go get that coffee. Wait, can't oh. afford it. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll. I won't. I won't. Let's go. Okay. Mug Gillicuddy, uh, you're a scry. Is... Mm. Oh, wow. Pull it out. Oh. What's up? Okay. The, the imp pops out. Oh, all right. Uh, you, you need to be going through exit B24 over there, right where they're slowly uh, constructing the silt systems, which won't be up for a couple of while, uh, and then you'll exit through there. And once you leave that, that should take you right outside of a tree marked um, a trapdoor. Uh, then you'll uh, be going north northwest for about two miles, and uh, that's where you're supposed to be to ambush five humans. Yeah. Oh, sounds good. Sounds good. He puts his hand out. Like I, I give him a slap. <laughs> uh, uh, gave him five. I, that that that's that's not a good tip, like at all. Oh oh oh! Uh, hang on, hang on. Um, never accept wooden nickels. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, thanks. It turns off. <laughs> Um, I, I imagine I'm just wearing the typical robes, free flow, just, I don't have anything else on me. I probably have my scry, I think, by contract. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you can't seem to lose your scry. Well, that's great. Do I have other people's scry? No. God 
Every time you steal somebody else's scry, it seems to disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, oh boy. Uh, As of midnight, your scry TM will require an update to its primeware oh. TM. Make sure you are in the proper plane of existence. I think I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Does that uh, change when I'm sleeping? I ask no one in particular. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's magic, so as long as we're on the material plane, it should be fine. All right. Cool. I, I usually do that. Yeah, I don't know why you'd leave this, this plane. This one's so nice. It's not really up to me. Sometimes I just find myself in places. Fall asleep, wake up on a bus, go back to Airplane's sleep. Dimension. Bus? Yeah. No. The, the big um, tubes that carry stuff. You know? Like boats? No, no longer than that. Those must be huge. It's it's like thin though. It's not like square. Like a canoe. Bigger. But also not on water. Oh, right, you're used to water. Um, <laughs> imagine it, but if it um, rolled. Psst. So, like when, when we capsize them. Psst. Uh, other axis? Psst. Uh, is that for me? So it, so it flips over? McGill. Oh, uh, I look at my uh, scry again. The M comes out. He, he's talking about the uh, SLTs, which uh, aren't in this area yet, but you'll find them in a Areolus. You'll also find them through the islands, uh, but they don't cross water very well either. Uh, yeah, uh, they're long, magical things. They just, like, scoot along the ground or up in the air and stuff. Yeah. That's what he's talking about. Long tubes, travel cargo... A place to move. Yeah, I would have yeah. used that if I, uh, once the wheels actually move. Yeah. Oh, no wheels. They're spectral levitation transports. I'm talking about brain wheels. Oh. You have brain wheels? That's awesome. I think it's a metaphor. What's a metaphor? Um, I think it helps you play games better. Cool. And puts his hand back out. <laughs> oh. Uh, I think give him another uh, high, uh, low five. <laughs> give him five. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hurt me? <laughs> I think he does that to people he likes. I think it's cultural. A bit of sand comes out of the scry and hits you. <laughs> I like you too. <laughs> and turns off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are, we, um, are you two ready to go? We've been going. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, just like looks down at his feet like, oh, yeah, look at them go. <laughs> Everything's moving. Huh. All right. Let's get the blood flowing. Um, Do you want to run? Slither? Do we want to take this slow? How long? Well, I mean... The, yeah, you seem the, excited. Which way to go? We can just so go. That's where I'm going. I'm happy to go. We can just go there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, navigating by the sun and stars is one thing I'm good at. Oh. Oh. Huh. He's just like looking at the sky, like huh. daytime. It tells you that. I said sun <laughs> and stars for a reason. <laughs> um. How long? Mm -hmm. It's two miles. Mm -hmm. Average moving mm -hmm. speed of bipedal life forms is uh, three, three miles an hour. Yeah, three miles an hour. So get there in an hour ish. Ish. If we, oh, yeah. we pick up the pace a little yeah. bit. All right. <clears throat> what time of day is it? Oh, uh, it's morning. Probably yeah, like nine ish. Uh, does it have to be? <laughs> yes, it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, do you do you guys see anything out there? Um, to that we the, the five people. Uh, I could look for them. I'll be the scout. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're you're faster than I am. So yeah. Well, uh, you realize there's two groups out there, um, but from what you can tell, the second group isn't the right one because it's not enough people. Mm. Um. But uh, you think you know where they're at about, you keep getting vague glimpses of this uh, group of five people. Uh, three of them in armor, two of them are lightly armored. And when I say are in armor, they're, they're, they're wearing rather robust uh, plate mail, kind of dented up. Um, 
The other two look like they're in just scroungy leathers. All right, all right. Um, do, you, I, do you see anything? Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I keep keep seeing them just over there. Over there? Yeah. Are there any trees around? Lots of trees. This is I think this is very swampy. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Can I climb a tree and take a look? Absolutely. Cool. Um, so I just scurry up a tree, get to the top, and. Well, with the two, do I just see the tops of trees well, and I can't see you, through them? Don't you get an, uh, uh, a bonus on your agility there? Oh, no, that's just to look. Oh, to look? I rolled a, a four minus two to look. <laughs> 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 I just see trees like, ah, okay. <laughs> oh, you just see this this beautiful stork sitting on one of the branches. Or is it an egret? It's some long thing, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it robbable? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I uh, I saw something too, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I can slither up. Uh, slither up a tree. See if I can get a better view. All right, go for All it. Right. Uh, so I'm just gonna roll for the view. Uh, nineteen. Okay. Uh, you see them kind of setting up a spot to start cooking a brunch or lunch, something right on the edge of an extremely large lake. And when I mean extremely large, you can't see across the lake. Nice. I, I slow their back down uh, to you guys. I'm kind of just hanging from the tree upside down. Okay. So they're setting up for like an afternoon lunch or early bre- late breakfast or something. Okay. They're right at the edge of the water. Okay. So, so that means those of us who can just swim, we can swim under the water, go right up to their camp. Then you do whatever you're going to do and bring him into the water's edge. Okay. All right. All right. You can see like a little more light getting into his eyes. Like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Good luck, okay. comrade. Uh, All right. We'll uh, we'll go into the ambush point. Um, the signal will be them entering the water. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want? Like, um, I hang on before you get in there, real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, the signal is going to be the thing happening, right? Don't you think the signal should be to you before, so you can get them into the water? Well, if they're next to the water, we'll just grab them. So the signal should be them next to the water. Well, I mean, as close to the in the water as possible. We want to drag them deep, and especially the step, especially step try to get back. the ones in heavier what's sig- armor. What's the signal for? Uh, I was just saying that because I thought that's what leader said. Oh, oh, you're the leader. Okay, maybe I don't know. I've never done that before. Who's Am I doing a good job? Who's doing that? Uh, I checked my sky. Is it my sky? <laughs> nope, neither of you two. Oh, well, me again. <laughs> Yes. What's up, little dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you were going to steal from him first and you want to make some money. Right, 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 right. Yeah, steal from him. Steal, steal, steal. I yeah, liberate real, their real items live. from them so they don't have them when they come back. Right. Yeah. Oh. Well, wait. Build. Thought. Thought. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Hand comes mm-hmm. out again. I, uh, I, I, I find a, a nearby. Uh, 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 branch, break it off and give it to him. <gasps> this is awesome. It's got sap. You see the phone just kind of suck it in. <laughs> <laughs> phone vibrates a little bit. Turns off. I didn't lose the thought. But uh, one moment, I have to digest that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, the, so, the, scr- the scry certainly did. Yeah, thought. What if <laughs> um, the signal is I throw some of the stuff I have stolen from them into the water? Ooh, okay. That way, okay. one, yeah, they yeah. can't get it back easily. Uh-huh. Two, we get to keep it. Three, if they go into the water to get it, you, they've already done half the work, so you don't have to move 80 pounds of plate metal. Nice. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah like and I'll it. just like keep like doing that until uh-huh. you see, and I'll... I don't know if this is a signal or as much as just a cue, but you see feet in the water, because you're going to be in the water. You see it mm. in there. You just grab the feet and pull and if they make a noise but if you do it fast enough people will investigate the noise and I won't fucking be there 
It'll nice. be great. Okay. And while they're looking, I'll grab more shit and throw it in the water. Unless yeah. it's like gonna dissolve in water. The sugar is mine. You don't get that. That's okay. I don't eat sugar. You should. It's great. Uh, it'll literally kill me. Tragic. Anyway, <laughs> does that does that sound like a plan? Because I don't want to be the leader, but that's the that sounds like a plan to me that I can understand. Yeah. Yeah. That's that should work. Cool. All right. Um. Let's do it. Go team. Go team. All right. Uh, we should get a team name. Okay. All right. All right. All right so yeah, so they're uh, I saw they're into the water and immediately keep moving the exact same speed, just underwater. <laughs> okay. Um, just just out of curiosity, um, if you're when, when you're going to and entering the water, just give me a stealth check. Okay. Uh, raw dexterity. Uh, eighteen. Oh, like an Olympic diver, right? There's not even a, a ripple. Uh, also got an eighteen. Ooh. Ooh. Whatever that dual Olympic diving sport is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what would you say uh, there, Kay? What was that? I had eighteen. Yeah, no, uh, you said something after that. Uh, both of you, you go through like uh, Olympic uh, synchronized divers. Synchronized. Is um, that even an event? Yeah. Synchronized diving. I see yeah. The, what they have yeah, to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. The same time. Yeah, they jump off at the same time, do the yeah. same motions, and land in the water at the same time. It's sweet. Yeah, it's, so so yeah. you two are like goal level on that. You did great. Yeah. Eight points from the French judge. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> two points from the Russian one. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Uh, so then, um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna have to periodically move out and then back in just to get a quick gulp of air because I don't actually breathe underwater so much as I just have a swim speed. So, all right, cool. <laughs> so, I have a land speed, and that land speed is 70. <laughs> Good lord, walking, yeah. <laughs> You know, once he actually gets uh, <clears throat> powered up, it's hard to keep up with him. Once, once he wakes up, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Boy, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll just have my sword out and ready to roll. All right. Cool. 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 Um, I approach the brunch stealthily, stealthily. Yes, stealthily. stealthily. Oh shit, son! That's a. Um, hang on, wait. Stealth is a plus eleven. That's a twenty-three. All right. Yeah. No problem. Mm-hmm. Like the night, but in the middle of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I just s- skitter between the trees and brush, and just kind of occasionally peek the head up, look down, and uh, I get to about I'd say ten, fifteen feet from them. Easily. Easily. Mm-hmm. How are they? Paint me a word picture. How are okay. they arranged? What you who's find back a, to me? You find a small clearing. <clears throat> okay. All right. By and the, this, by this the shoreline. Yeah, and this goes straight to the to the to the water, which they're probably about fifty feet from the water itself. Okay. They got a small fire that's just beginning to start up. They've got their cooking gear around it. Uh, <clears throat> one of the, the 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 people, a female wearing very dirty leathers, is starting to you know cut up some vegetables and process some meat, getting ready to cook it. Uh, the other one, the leathers, is uh, getting dishes out. Meanwhile, the three are in their armor, uh, two females and what looks like a, a male, but he's kind of too pretty. Um, and to be pretty, what the fuck? No, no, I don't mean it in that manner. Like, he's, oh. he's not <sighs> a little prettier than humans should be. Oh, like man, capital M. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they're kind of like just lounging around, stretching. One of them is talking about doing some uh, uh, exercises or uh, sparring with them. And uh, to give you an idea, their their armors are all painted like one of them's in a green. The uh, the <clears throat> unnaturally good looking man is in a uh, black armor. And the other one seems to be wearing a yellow, silver sort of set. All of them are well used, beaten up. Um, this right. shows a lot of experience on them. 
Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they do have a one pack animal with them, which seems to be like a, almost a miniature donkey w- overloaded with a couple of bags. <laughs> oh, and of those, the uh, the black and yellow armor are the ones to, that are that have their back to you. Okay, and then the people the the people in the leathers preparing the food are not close to me. Uh, they're kind of in the center of these. Of, they're between the uh, two people with armor back to you. Uh, they're between you and the uh, the cooks. Fire, yeah. and, the, and they're, the cooks are by the fire, and then the third person is just on the other side, kind of. Messing around, I'd, yeah, yeah, and to give you an idea, like you're ten feet away from the uh, armored people, because uh-huh. that's how close you snuck in there, like a okay, fuzzy all, right. all right, cool. Um, I hate the fact that I have to keep rolling wisdom things to see if there's anything stealable, because I feel like it should be apparent whether or not there's something hanging from their belts or <laughs> okay. Uh, there are things to steal. Whether they're actually any value is a different story. If they get your attention, I mean, yeah, I just a bobble's a bobble, right? Yeah, but it's like, will it be enough for them to be like, "Fuck, I need that." Oh, that you're gonna have to roll on. Ah, run, run. eleven. <laughs> eleven. Yeah, because I always just subtract two from the number because that's what matters. I have no proficiency. Eleven's not too bad. Uh, you you see uh, the one in the black armor seems to have a uh, um, what looks like a favor on on the side, uh, something kind of lacy with gold uh, fringe on it, like like somebody embroidered gold thread into it. Okay. Um, are there weapons on their in their hands, on their hips, on their backs? Uh. Do they have their, weapons? They're on their hips. Okay. All of them seem to be carrying swords, uh, okay. at least the armored ones. You don't see any weapons on the other two. Okay, the armored ones have weapons. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Formulating, calculating. Okay, all right. We can we can make this work. All right. Okay. I would like to steal... Favor to start. Okay. And so there's nothing. It's, the clearing is like the, the grass is like knee high, ankle high. You're about where the sh- the, the bramble and shrub stops. Fuck. Okay. So and like from there, it's, it's from there is going to be difficult. Yeah. Yep. So I just have to be fast. I, I mean, I don't know if me as a player is supposed to drive in here, but there was the donkey. Is the, is the donkey on the other side of the fire by the shore? With the third person, uh, or are they by the... F- they're the closer to the, uh, the border. Uh, like, okay, if it was going to your right, that's where the shore is. It comes up about 50 feet. That's where there's the uh, their, their camp fire, is set up. Yeah. So you have the fire. You have the, the fighters that are between uh, between you and them. And then to your left, kind of maybe 10 feet-ish, 15 feet-ish from the uh, tree line is the donkey with the two bags. I'm not worried about that thing. I know I could catch that thing and cut the bags off. That's nothing. I would like, yeah, I think I'm going to take the favor looking thing and book it towards the shoreline, but there's no stuff, but I'll be very apparent once I take it. So if I can get in, out, and away from swinging distance and grabbing distance, then I'll be apparent. And they'll be like, fuck, I want that. And then I'll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's just all in his brain. It's like, yeah. <laughs> all right. I, 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 want, I want three rolls from you. Okay. One is going to be stealth. <coughs> well, that's a 23. No, 22. Okay. You you, oh, you walk nice. up. No, nobody there notices you. Hell yeah. Actually, let's 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 do a uh, one roll here. Uh, oh, no. Nobody notices you. I rolled a three. <laughs> um, okay. Now it's going to be a sleight of hand to try to get the favor off. All right. Slide of, oh, that's plus seven. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a 19. <laughs> okay. Um... Do a contest here. No problem. All right. All right. And uh, the third is going to be, because you want them to see you now, right? I'm I'm basically going to sprint. Okay. Obviously. I want an athletics check. Oh, just athletics? A, athletics, yeah. Okay. That is an 11. Just an 11? Uh, yep. That's a six plus a five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, you, you manage, you're pretty quick, so you get w- well without their distance, but you are fast enough, more importantly, to not be grabbed as they kind of... I'm a Weasley so, baby. So here it is. You, you sneak up. Nobody notices. You hear the clinking of pans, the chopping of, of vegetables, the carrots. All, 
and then you, you you find the favor, you slip it off real quick, and then you just start bolting with your little noise down down the beach. And it's fast enough to where they do see you, but they're not able to grab you fast enough. And at that point, it's initiative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, Should we roll initiative as well? Absolutely, because I'm assuming okay. you're you're kind of keeping track of this. Yeah. So I'm good at math. Mm-hmm. I just want to say it out loud. What's eighteen plus seven? <laughs> Twenty-five. Uh, I think you call it showing off. Yeah. <laughs> what's What's new high score mean? Um. Uh, First, not yeah. twenty of the night for me though. Not twenty nice. Yeah. On this year, where it doesn't matter. Right, right. <laughs> and uh, thirteen. All right. Um, so my nat twenty is a total of twenty three. <laughs> nice. Right, nice. You, you, you of course go first there. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to make a mild scene mm-hmm. by aim it at the uh, armored fellas because I don't want all five of them to go to the shore. Mm-hmm. Just the two. So, what can I do? What can I do to get that attention specifically? Maybe call them out. Yeah, yeah, I can call them out. Yeah. All right. Hey, shiny. He, you look. Got it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to consider that intimidation. Intimidation. All right. Yeah, all right. You're trying to get them to chase you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to goad them. Yeah. This is either intimidation or uh, persuasion. 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 Yeah, I mean they're both plus one, so yeah, doesn't matter. What's a four get me? <laughs> What's a four good? Because you want just those two to, to chase you. Right? I would like just the attention of two rather sinkable people. Unfortunately, with a four, you got everybody's attention. <laughs> okay. Okay, and their response is, "How dare you take my lady's favor?" And you hear swords being drawn. And- Don't get it. They're barely being able to move. They're kind of like slow because you're, you're all the way over there and you're hearing the sword coming out. Shh, mostly because it's also not their turn either. And they were just having a response to your first thing. So. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, next, since they're not at the edge water, you really wouldn't be able to pull them in. If you want to kind of hold your initiative so that once they mm-hmm. do get to the edge, you can take your action. Yeah, that's what I was planning on. Okay. Um, I was yeah. planning on to swim just barely to the top of the water. Uh, to take a look at what's going on. And uh, basically at this point, with all the dirt and kelp and everything, I basically just look like a bunch of pond right. scum coming up and taking a look. All right. Now, uh, because you are an NPC, you're going to have to make a constitution check at this point to see if you need to breathe. Okay. Uh, dirty 20. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Uh, that takes us now to uh, McGillicuddy. All right. Um, since, um, um, I'm, uh, I'm a barbarian. I'm not one to wait around. Um, I'll pop out of the water and, uh, try to javelin, uh, as one of, uh, actually, uh, do you think the, the donkey would be in javelin distance? Uh, they're 50 feet. The camp itself is 50 feet from the, the, uh, water edge and they're probably another 10 feet past that. So you have a 60 foot range. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, we'll we'll try to hit one of the uh, one of the lightly armored ones. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sneak up oh, on them. So you know t- what? Wild idea. Throw a javelin. <laughs> <laughs> so we got twelve. And this is one with the leathers. You uh, yeah. managed to to hit one. Go ahead. Yes. All right. So D six four plus your strength. Uh, six damage. Okay. Uh, for theatrics, the, the spear comes in. Uh, they've got the uh, the rabbit in their, their their hand that they're kind of chopping up. All that's left is like uh, they got a leg and a thigh in there. The spear comes through, goes through the rabbit into their foot, and they start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I go, yeah! <laughs> you made it to the water's edge, right? Yeah. Okay. Because I can go 70 feet. <laughs> The, just walking. Yeah, the, the three, <laughs> the three of them run, and they barely make it. They're they're like ten feet from you, maybe. Okay. As they come running, they, the swords are out there yelling. Uh, the one who doesn't have the spear in the foot, he pulls out a longbow and takes a shot. At me? At you? No. Oh. You're 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 more prominent, and uh, with an eight, totally misses. Yeah. So a stray arrow goes just into the water somewhere. Uh, the third one. Uh, 
they try to uh, pull the spear out of their foot. Oh. Roll a, another d6 for me, please. I really should yeah. be able to see these. <laughs> oh, no, I want, I want everybody to see these. I rolled a natural one, just so anybody wants to know. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> so, all right. The leather guy, uh, as he's pulling it out, the barb just rips his foot up some more, and the blood is just too much, and he passes out. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right. How embarrassing. That is the weapon of my people. <laughs> uh, all right, so the guys who got close to the water should be in range of me to cast the entangle spell on them now. Uh, yeah, they're probably, I said they're 10 feet away from you. Yeah. Yeah, so they're about yeah. t- about 10-ish feet away from you as well, so you're free to, to cast. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast entangle, mm-hmm. uh, hitting all of them and leaving my ferret friend out of the area effect. Okay. Uh, they all need to make a strength save against my DC. Okay. The the one in the black armor rolls and gets an eight. That's a fail. All right, the third one goes for it. Uh, no, with the six, doesn't do anything. And the yellow armor, 15. So, so the, that one succeeds. The yellow armor does not get entangled. Uh, the rest of them are are restrained. <laughs> okay. Entangled um, just like brings roots up? What does entangle do? <laughs> uh, the description. Uh, grasping weeds and vines sprout from the ground in a 20-foot square. <laughs> <laughs> Get reeded, idiot. <laughs> um, so their speed is zero. Um, attack rolls against them have advantage. They have disadvantage on attacks. And the have disadvantage on deck saves. <gasps> oh, how fun! Okay, yank. What's the opposite of yeet? <laughs> Yoink. Yoink. Yeah. Yoink is the opposite of yeet. <laughs> yeah, I just forgot. <laughs> the other dirty is it leather my turn? shot an arrow at you. And okay, it hang on. Sh- so yeah. the dirty leather rips spear passes out. Right, and missed. Yes, 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 yes. Cool, cool. And then, yeah, the three men approach, two entangled, one open. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, as do- an added thing, uh, even though they, that guy's not entangled, he is. Uh, they are standing on difficult terrain now. Really? Oh. Yeah. That's fun and new. That just halves their movement speed, or what? Yeah. Uh, in that area, they have to use double the normal movement to get through it. Okay, okay. Pretty much, yeah. Would you yeah. say that stopping me from robbing them oh, and, is and a deck you also, save? Um, you're, you're technically a level one, so I think you only have <laughs> two actions. <per> <laughs> <laughs> two actions per round. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I would just like to... And further antagonism uh, to the black armored guy, I'm going to scurry up, take whatever bundles of shit they have he has, okay. and throw it into the water, and then get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Just in, chicka chicka, throw back out. Because right. you can like use movement in, movement out, right? And your move, your. Your movement is so far. If they're ten feet yeah. away from you, you if I you move twenty feet, you haven't even taken a full. I just I didn't want to provoke an attack of opportunity, and I wasn't sure if you could split your movement throughout your turn, or if, if you had f- to make your movement. Well, if you're going for the guy in the black, I don't think he can do uh, an attack of opportunity because he's tangled. Right. No, uh, the guy he, he can. Door. He just has disadvantage on. Okay. It. Oh, I'll take those odds. <laughs> 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 okay. With how they've been rolling thus far, um, yeah. So. You would just like a sleight of hand roll, I'm assuming? Yeah. Let's, let's rob a man today. Oh, a 14 plus a 7. 21. Right. You get four items off of him. We'll discuss decide what those items are later. <laughs> and now, you still have enough action left to toss them, considering that's... I would love to throw them back into the water once I'm closer to the water. Okay. So I would back up, back the 10 feet and yeah. throw it into the water. So uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, if you've got 70, you took 10. Take 10 back to the water. I still have 50 to do shit with. Yeah. Do yeah. I still have... It's difficult terrain. So I'm assuming... Uh, it would only where with. they're standing. Yeah, I'm going to where no. they're standing. No, but you're, you're going to next to where they're standing. Oh. I cast it to uh, purposely make it so that they didn't have to... Wor- you didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> Those poor motherfuckers. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I... 
can do things. Druids, man. Druids. (laughs) Yeah, and I'm a monk. Uh, Level one, I'm just... Let's let's keep it fair. Uh, (laughs) It's like, do I want to attack the other man? No. Do I want to rob the other man? (laughs) Probably. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I do. I'm wearing these robes because of all the sleeve pockets. There's so many pockets in this robe. All right. Slide a hand the other man. Um, 19. Okay. Woo. You get three items off of him. Yes. <laughs> I um, would be more descriptive, but since your perception and wisdom are so low, you're just grabbing I'm just stuck taking in anything yeah. that fits in my little hands <laughs> and just like, like a flurry. Like a flurry of blows, but it's a, a flurry of just theft. <laughs> just grab you just see the like just little bits and things coming out of their pockets and their belts and sachets and just immediately just disappear into this amorphous blob of robe and fur and it just scurries away <laughs> just duking the whole time <laughs> this is fun let's keep doing that um so that's my turn i have i have robbed two idiots blind in front of them and they can see me. So not blind. It's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, when you brought them to death. Dignity. <laughs> that, that brings us back to uh, Onyx. Uh, right. Um, how close were they, did you say? They're about 10 feet from the water. Okay, so about 20 feet total. We'll call it 15. Yeah. Okay. This isn't a gradual slope. This this goes in the water mm-hmm. and almost drops immediately. So it's not like a oh, beach nice. and like, right. like it's just... Swamp shore. Yeah. Gotcha. Sure. Um, I'm just debating how I want to play this. <laughs> and we'll play it safe. There's still a lot of them there. Um, I'm going to pop my torso out of the water and uh, grab my sling and start. I'm going to uh, sling one of the uh, one of the entangled guys. Okay. And I have advantage on that because they're still restrained. Which one are you aiming at? Uh big guy. It's black, the black, know, and yellow. black armor. Black, black armor. Black armor's big guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a natural 20. A natural 20. All right. Uh, give me give me your damage and multiply it by two. <laughs> so you want me to roll double the rocks. dice or just total it and then double it? Uh, just total it and double it. Okay. Uh, that being the case, uh, that will be 10 bludgeoning damage. Oof. <laughs> Adding... Injury to insult. All right, you, you hear it hit the armor, and you get this nice out of it, and he's obviously stunned, uh, not not happy about it. Uh, which now we move on to uh, McGillicuddy. All right. Uh, so, uh, Kay, you might have to walk me through this. The first time I've uh, entered Berserker Rage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so basically you just spend your bonus action to go into Rage, uh, which uh, increases your ability to take hits. You take half damage from anything that is slashing, piercing, or bludgeoning, and you also do an extra two damage to anything you hit with a melee attack. Got it. Jesus. Yeah, so we're uh, we're, we're going to go in and uh, hit the lightly armored guy. I'll just charge in and, and smack him. Okay, so you want to go with the person with the leathers, like... Yeah, fifty feet off the shore. Do you just want to like erupt? Oh, that's that's a little far away from you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well then, uh, uh, we'll we'll uh, just go for black armor then. Okay. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So roll with advantage on the attack. Yep. Because uh, he's restrained. Uh, okay. So. Um, that is sixteen. And you did roll twice to make sure, yeah? Yep. Okay. All right. I got two D20s. Um, now, the entangle doesn't affect his AC, right? Correct. All right. It just provides advantage for the attackers. All right. You, you go up there and you're, uh, what are you attacking with? Uh, uh, great sword. A great sword. Your sword makes contact, but it, the armor just kind of glances it off, so no damage is done. Oh. Oh. Man, I hope that guy doesn't get out. He's gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, now now that makes it uh, their turn. I want everybody to roll a perception check uh, with disadvantage. Oh shit! No, okay. the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with disadvantage. Yes. Huh. Uh, that's a that's a stat one, uh-huh. not a nat one. Just a stat yeah. one. Okay. Everybody else. Eleven. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, 16 for Monix. 
All right, Onyx, uh, you hear a braying. That's braying. what you get with a 16. Fuck's a braying. hear a what? Braying, you know. <laughs> oh, a bray. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I heard braying, and I was like, what the fuck's a braying? Braying. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. The donkey. Uh, a little higher, and you would have gotten more detail out of it. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Um, as a response to hearing that, can I look towards the donkey? <laughs> um, when it's your no, turn. When it's your turn, I'll let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Fair. So the, the guy in the black armor, he's going to try to break himself free. Fail, please. Gets a 12. That's uh, not enough. Not enough. All right. The uh, yellow armor is going to take a swing at the ferret uh, with a 10 misses. <laughs> okay, the black, uh, the green armor is now going to try to free themselves with a natural twenty. Comes yep, ripping he out. Gets out. <laughs> oh! And you hear this war cry. <laughs> I don't have a bonus action, so there's nothing else I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and Good. A, and another arrow comes flying towards the ferret. No, man, it totally misses. Whoosh. Yep. Yeah. What did yellow do? Swung a sword and missed. I believe. I thought that was, yeah. Okay, yeah. green let himself out. Black also swung and missed. No, black tried to get themselves out. Right, failed. failed. Yes. Failed. Okay. Yeah. All right. As a matter of fact, as a side note, because he failed, you see this flush of embarrassment come over his face. <laughs> that the the uh, green one got out, and it's kind of like, oh, <laughs> man, just showed me up. I'm supposed to be the strong one. Mother- so. Okay, cool, cool. Um, well, it would probably be wise to... Is, so nobody's in the water anymore. No, I'm in the water. Onyx is I was using water. my sling. Onyx in the water with the sling. So the plan to drag heavy people into the water is still a go. Not a foot. Just a go. Yeah. There's no feet. <laughs> um, but there's also... I didn't care the brain, so that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm, I'm focused. I am, I am speed. I am... You are not Lightning McQueen. Sorry. No. No kachows. That is legally distinct. Um, Vort, Vort would... <laughs> Kapow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Because death is no object, non-lethal damage is a joke, let's beat the shit out of somebody. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Is yeah, black is still restrained. <laughs> um, no, I don't want the restrained one. I want to push someone closer to the shore with oh, okay. my fists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a combat thing, isn't it? I can push somebody. Yeah, I believe you have... Uh... There's grapple shove. Shove. There you go, shove will work. Shove will do. Ah. All right, what do I have to roll to shove a man? Uh, it's a con- it's a athletics check from you and either acrobatics or athletics from them, depending. I, I on believe what that's they... a strength check on that, or no? Because uh, the, the defender can choose strength or dexterity. Okay. The attacker has to use strength. Okay. Yeah, they'll definitely be using strength. Athletics then. <laughs> um, twenty one. Okay. I should probably specify which one I'm shoving because green got yeah, out. You said, you said the green got out and yellow was never stuck. Right. Yeah. So. I am going to do it to yellow. Because green yelled, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to scurry up to yellow and shove them towards right. the shore. Right. So I rolled a, a, a 17 plus 1 for their strength, which gave them a, a... Sorry, I rolled an 18 plus 1, so it's still a 19, but that's still not enough, right? Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. So you, you shove this heavily armored person like into the water. like to be like water and just like take the incoming momentum... And redirect it to the shore. <laughs> Just shasha. Be like stolen milk. <laughs> <laughs> like flowing from the teat of life. From, from the, uh, yeah, from uh, Utter yeah. of life. Yeah, from okay. from the earth, earth. Uh, towards the swamp. Okay, and uh, that would be that action. <laughs> okay. uh, since you're pretty much there. Uh, the uh, the you said the yellow one, yeah. right? The yellow one is now in the water, into uh, the mire. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Um, in, is it possible? Mm-hmm. Am I deft enough to try to snag one thing off of while he's doing that? 
Can I steal one thing off this man while I, I do would, that? I would say you could you could throw in a slight with disadvantage to try that while you're Let's attacking do it. him. Yes! Okay, disadvantage. That's 11 plus what? Sleight of hand is 7, so there's an 18. Or that's a nat 1. Fuck. <laughs> so I don't steal anything. No. <laughs> How are you going to punish me, Daddy? Uh, you're trying to take something off his belt while throwing him, and your hand gets caught, and you go into the water with him. That's exactly what I expected. All right. <laughs> Ferrets aren't soluble. We're good. <laughs> you just hear that. It's just like, calm. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to be so slinky <laughs> All right. Fuck. Oh, Onyx, that's... what are you doing? Um, so I glance towards the donkey. What's it doing? <laughs> uh, you just see what looks like a goblin uh, running into the woods where the donkey was. Ah, oh, loot stealers. I'm in the water. Yep. <laughs> I can fix that. I can okay. fix that. Yeah. Um, so that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and then, uh, seeing that the yellow guy is in the water, I'm going to uh, run up and uh, attempt to uh, grapple him down into the water even deeper. Drag him <laughs> okay. into the depths. Uh, roll to grapple him. And All mind right. you, I believe your species can hold their breath longer than the extremely weighted down fighter human. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. I would hope so. <laughs> okay. Make a roll. Roll it with advantage as well. Oh, okay. Well, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Well, my first roll is a 19. So okay. uh, that'll be a 24. Okay. That's more than good enough if you want to just stick with that roll. But you could also nat 20. Gamble. I I, ro- I rolled that one. Oh, I rolled the second one. It was lower than that. Okay. So okay, you 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 roll high enough. Not only were you able to to basically wrap yourself around this like a constrictor and start bringing this person down, you're able to w- to see that she was heavy enough to where she wouldn't be able to swim back up. And as you look into her face, you can see the panic as she realizes she's gonna drown. It's like going home, <laughs> but you have a um, bad home. <laughs> so um. I open my mouth inhumanly wide and in a giant smile as I uh, realize that she's going to die in this water no matter what I do. Uh, so I'm going to just forcefully pull off all of the stuff uh, that I can off of her before she drowns. You can pill for next assemble. turn. Yeah. Why oh, rush? Yeah. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> all right, fair. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll just... Uh, I'll just be like grinning, uh, giant and inhumanly wide with, with fangs in my mouth, just, just staring at her in the face. <laughs> Excellent. Give her, give her some nightmares when she resurrects. <laughs> <laughs> and this brings us to McGillicuddy. All right. Uh, this uh, black armored guy is really pissing me off. So um, uh, we're we're just gonna spend all of our effort on. Uh, Cutting him in, in half. <laughs> He's still right. entangled, so yeah. go for yeah. it. <laughs> Roll it him up. Nat 20. Ah! Oh, ah! <laughs> yeah, no, roll again, just in case. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I rolled two dice at once, so we're good there. Okay. Smart. Uh, so, 16 times 2, so 32. <sighs> you, okay. <laughs> you said you're hitting him with a long sword, right? A great sword. A great, great sword. sword. Okay. It's Conan the Barbarian sword. Yeah. His ass in twain. You, you, everybody <laughs> sees McGillicuddy's muscles kind of just ripple as the scales fleck off a little bit. And the shining just glimmers off in a nice rainbow spectrum as this big great sword comes down, hits him on the right shoulder, cleaves through his breastplate, and you can hear the metal rending as his arm is completely chopped off and you could swear you can still see the a little bit of the heart maybe that's the lung moving as he's trying to breathe and falls over you're saying this is a black knight yeah it's yeah. just a flesh wound <laughs> it's just a flesh wound <laughs> <laughs> he's on the ground with so but a scratch <laughs> it's a it's like a scratch bag before there's mess and he's fucked but mm. <laughs> tis but a scratch <laughs> i couldn't resist <laughs> So, so is he down, or is he still somehow alive? He's down. Uh, he might be doing death saves next round, or next 
turn. You, you don't know, but there was a lot of blood coming out. <laughs> that, that was that, that so He's not out. awake. <laughs> oh, definitely not. I <laughs> may be open, but nobody's home. <laughs> Wheel has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Good job. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Uh, thank you, Entangling Roots. Yeah, that was way more effective than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Well, uh, it was more than the hit points he had. I mean, sh- <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, to, to be honest with you, he he would got him down to 18 hit points, and you just hit him for 38. Uh-huh. Figured that deserved a good graphic example. Yeah, of what it's happened. about yeah, double. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. This is 5e, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. in Pathfinder, if you beat. Like, if you do more than, ha- like, double how much health they have, you just kill them. <laughs> uh, that's that's true in uh, 5e, but it has to be their, you Total. have to beat their max HP. Okay, again. that makes sense. All right. Yeah. By the way, I mean, I'm not arguing that the guy should be, like, dead dead, because he's fucked. Because he's still <laughs> entangled. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> his corpse you is entangled, perform yes. CPR directly <laughs> on the lung? <laughs> I mean, I'll see why not. You're also free to use these voice lines for Nigel. (laughs) (laughs) We can do that. We can do that. (laughs) Ah, what a mess. All right, cool. Um, Is there anything else you can do while you're pissed off? Um, Because there's a dude next to him. I mean, I I I mean, you can you can growl at everybody and intimidate them. (laughs) Yeah, but they Uh, run. uh, I mean, I guess I'll uh, charge at the uh, archer if I have any action left. Probably have movement. If you've got a movement, you can uh, you can use that. Yeah, because I was already at him when I hit him the first time. And what so. what is your movement? Uh, thirty. So you're you're closing the ground on the archer. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. That uh, now makes it. I'm assuming my turn. Sounds, mm-hmm. That sounds extremely fucking intimidating. Cut a man in half. It just starts running at you, and you're like, ah, oh, this is no longer a ranged okay. ordeal. So uh, they're going to go with a disadvantage at trying to. You're in the water, too, right? I am for now. Yeah. I can uh, fix that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a. With disadvantage to see if they can even uh, swing at McGillicuddy, because they're just not, not doing well at all. Uh, 14 plus 115, does that still hit McGillicuddy? Uh, armor class is 16. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's a swing and a miss. Um, I am less than enthused, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to make a strength te- te- check for the one in yellow who's beginning to drown. Ooh. And with a 10, uh, they don't do anything. Uh, the archer is going to change the target. He's now going to shoot at the big creature from the Black Lagoon coming at them. Yep. <laughs> Rolls a natural one and the, the bow breaks. The string slaps them in the face. They're stunned. <laughs> yeah. Is it like a strong slap or like one of those dainty little like... Uh. Oh no, it's a strong slap. Oh. You, you hear that I mean, hole. this is like a longbow or something. That I'm would trying to think of which one's more insulting. <laughs> 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 it's like one of them, like if I got smacked in the face by like a really like tensioned cord, well, I'd be like, fuck! Considering they're probably about to die, we'll go with the light one. So it just kind of flicks them on the nose. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Your mortality is coming for you slightly, <laughs> gently, like a gentle <laughs> caress from a minor inconvenience, okay. like getting your headphone cord snagged on a doorknob. <laughs> I have so little experience uh, with above ground fighting. I assume that it broke because I was shouting. <laughs> <laughs> totally acceptable. And from somewhere in the water, you hear. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed this episode of the Necromantic Empire TM. Our cast is Alex Fort as Nigel Gambatar, Ford Vacker, and more. Jeremiah Freeman as Kree. Rapunzel the Lettuce as Cookie. Tham Sturgeon as Hogan Savage. Ian Winningham as Maul Gillicuddy. Kay Winningham as Onyxia the 18th. Our district manager is John Simon. Additional voices by Kate Maxwell and Rachel Kearns. Music by Socially Awkward. In 400 feet, take a left turn onto Misery Drive. Find them on SoundCloud by searching Socially Awkward. Mid-2000s experimental musician Chicago Bulls hat. He can be found at a WSN podcast on Twitter. You can reach us at necromanticempire at gmail.com. 
Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you would like to help support the show, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Time of Your Half Life. Artwork by Joshua Allen. Find more of his work on Instagram at Faceless Cow. This is a Radio Active Shack production. Thanks for listening. This will probably all be cut. Doodly doodly doo.